Hey guys, uh, about two weeks ago, I showed you how to make a, a, a hen egg laying box out of a Tupperware container and an old inner tube and some hay because we had a hen that seemed like she was starting to get all bouty and broody. But as it turns out, she never started sitting. It was like a false broodiness or whatever. So um, we have, uh, over the last few days, we haven't taken any eggs out of this box and three of our hens have been laying in here and we were hoping that one was going to sit on them, but nobody's sitting on them. So basically we're just letting these eggs go to waste. So a lot of folks have the question, how long can you let a chicken egg sit out in the elements before it goes bad? Um, actually, it's a very long time. I know here in the U.S. we refrigerate practically all of our food from the time it dies, whether it's a meat product or a vegetable until the time it makes it to our table, it's been refrigerated. Uh, that's not necessary for most foods. I mean, I don't want to give you false information and make you sick, but the history behind that is basically, that's how General Electric uh, was able to sell refrigerate, refrigerators in mass to the uh, people once uh, they began making the refrigerators and the ice boxes and all these things, they had to, you know, a lot of marketing with the big corporations is they've got to kind of scare people into thinking they have to have their product. So that's why we have a tendency to over refrigerate our food here in America. Uh, for example, where my wife's from in the Philippines, where I lived for six years, when you bought eggs at the store, they weren't even in a refrigerator and they've been sitting out for many days. But um, I want to show you, it's something like six months actually, uh, but Again, a lot of variations there. It depends on the temperatures, where you are and whatnot. But I'm gonna show you a way where you can test an egg to see whether or not it's good or it's bad. I'm going to get the eggs out of here. Hun, hand me the phone. I'm gonna give them like an inside view of the, uh, the box. Here's the box and let's go in here and let's see how many eggs we have in here. This is several days worth of eggs. I don't know if you can see them. If I can hold the phone the right way. Yeah, it's kind of dark in there. But I'm gonna grab them and uh, we'll count them. I'm gonna show you how to tell whether they're good or they're bad. Ooh, one's broken. One, one was broken here. Let's see if we see anything inside that. Nope, just a, an egg. There's no fetuses in there. But these eggs, they should be fertilized because the rooster's been getting jiggy with the hens like clockwork. Okay, well, that seems to be it. So let's see. We've got two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Wow, we would have had and even dozen if we hadn't broken that one. So now we're gonna show you how you can use water to determine whether or not these eggs are spoiled or not, or whether they're safe to eat. All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you how to test whether or not your egg is spoiled or whether it's still good and edible. Um, kind of showing off here. I was just serving the garden, taking today's harvest, and we got three, six, seven, eight uh, crooked neck squash and a handful of peas. And I eat these raw a lot of times. When I'm in the garden, watering, or picking other things, I pick these off the vines and eat them. So I love them. Sweet peas. I chew them up, eat the inside part, and then kind of spit out the roughage. But uh, anyway, basically, many of you already know this. If you put an egg in water and it floats, it's floating because it's fermented and there's a lot of air inside the shell. It's coming up floating, and that means it's bad and it's spoiled. If the egg does not float, if it sinks to the bottom, it means it's still good. You can eat it and not get sick. Now, you could pour a bunch of water in here and try to drop your eggs in without breaking them. That's a hard way to do it. I'm going to place my eggs in first before I put the water. Oh, and look at that. I think I might have just broken one. No, I didn't. It sounded like it broke, but it didn't. Good. All right. So, got all the eggs in. Now, I'm 
I'm going to add my water. I'm going to see if anything floats. So my crock pot is full of water. Are you getting this, honey? You got a good view of the eggs in the water? Yep. Okay, I wanna make sure, so far nothing's floating. I wanna make sure to move these around because some of these on the bottom are being held down by the ones, potentially being held down by the ones on top of them. So I'm gonna move them around to make sure they all have a fair chance. Let me check this one brown one here in the back. No, none of them are floating. All of these eggs are remaining on the bottom. So uh, that's all you do, folks. You see if they'll float. If they float, they're spoiled. You don't want to eat them. If they don't float, they're good to eat. And we're going to know. Go, we're now going to go cook breakfast. So hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, please subscribe to our channel, Homesteading Off the Grid. And we'll see you next time.